as you learn, you teach, you lead. If your, if your spouse knows more than you, then she can teach you, inshallah, as well. Is she uh, born Muslim or revert as well? Born Muslim. So she can teach you, and as she teaches you, you can lead the way. You know, and perhaps uh, within the family, it's just a matter of give and take. You are the Amir, but it doesn't mean that all the decisions come from you alone. You could choose to, to let your, your wife help in so many different things. And mashallah, that happens. So congratulations, my brother. And uh, just a quick one, uh, just a quick one, as a father figure, how old are you, brother? 31. Oh, 31, okay. Slightly older than my eldest child, alhamdulillah. But I tell you one thing, a lot of the times, I mean, I, I notice some of the sisters, some of the brothers, when we get up, don't be afraid to say, Assalamu alaikum. It's okay, don't, don't be afraid. Assalamu alaikum. It's okay. Sometimes we take it for granted and sometimes we forget because we're used to the highs and hellos and all that. It's, it's fine. You, the Assalamu Alaikum is a proper way of greeting, right? It's, it's a prayer for someone else. And then you can say all your good mornings, good afternoons, good evenings, hellos and highs and so on. That follows the Assalamu Alaikum, inshallah. So that was just a piece. But, but regarding what you asked me, as, as you learn, inshallah, you, you put into practice. You, you won't know everything. I do not know every single thing. I might know a lot more than you, perhaps, but I don't know every single thing. If there's something I learned today from evidence, oh, my life will change regarding that particular matter. That's how it works in Islam. So it's a learning curve right to the end, right to the end, inshallah. Barakallah